I mean, I, mean, I feel like I've rejected the term feminism in a lot of ways, and I've started similarly to what Posey says. I'm I'm just ta- I'm, I talk about women's rights or I talk about the women's movement or I'm just very specific about what I'm talking about. Like, right. I don't really want to talk about feminism and feminist anymore sure. because it me- nobody really knows what it means. It means all sorts of different things. It doesn't necessarily mean anything specific to women. It supposedly means intersectionality. Like, so but, I don't know. I'm sort of o- I'm over the ism. Part so of it. but I have a. a, a- not Another to... great idea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but so Pretty when late. I met you, I met you close to a decade ago electronically. And at the time, um, I mean, we all go through phases. You, you self identified. Really feminism. Well, I mean, a particularly, so you identified as, as, as a radical feminist, right? I didn't like, no, I didn't actually ever, uh, re- I, I, I don't I, think I, I actually identified I as a radical emails. feminist, but everybody, maybe, yeah. well, yeah. I think what I would, I mean, I was aligned with radical feminists and most of like, I would say like the foundation of my feminism was in radical feminism. But, and that but, was the kind of feminism that I was accusation. engaged it, in. It's not an accusation, but the only reason I mention it is because radical feminism at least as i mean i kind of learned about radical feminism from you was radical feminism was tied up with a critique of capitalism right is that you know there's a there's a certain kind of conception of of womanhood and femininity which is like buy more makeup buy more like clothes get into fashion get a uh, boob job liposuction like do all the things to your body that like men do thinking it makes them look like women right yeah like i mean that's the thing if you many so-called drag queen well i actually drag queens are great for entertainment but a lot of trans women look like women were supposed to look in a sears sears catalog like seven years ago and a lot of as i understand radical feminism i'm sure it's evolved was a critique of that but in the same way like fem even radical feminism was about this larger thing it was about a critique of capitalism and consumer culture in the same way that intersectional feminism is like Sometimes it it feels only incidentally feminist, where it's really about like critical race theory. It's really yeah. about appeasing men who claim they're women. It's really about adopting progressive postures on everything from Israel to um, who to vote for. Yeah. Um, and so I can, is the fact, I don't want to interview you about feminism, it's your podcast, but is your... It sounds like you have like kind of some ennui about even using the word feminist. Is it because in recent decades, so much feminism seems to just be kind of like 90% of it is about some other thing, which isn't some other cause? It's partly that the, I feel like the terms come to mean very little or is very confusing to people and has disassociated itself from women in many ways. But it's also that like, I don't want to be attached to an ideology and I don't want my view of the world and my analysis and my understanding of what's going on to be driven by an ism. Like I just want it to be driven by what makes the most sense um, and maybe what's the most ethical. So I just started to find it limiting, honestly, which is funny because, you know, like, I don't know, five or 10 years ago, if somebody had said that I would have been really angry. It's like, I don't want to be boxed in, but I don't want to be boxed in. I want to be able to like think what I think and support policies that I think are good policies and question things without and you know talk to whoever I want to talk to without being accused of not being a like good feminist, which I was all the time and so at a certain point i was like okay well then i'm not and now can i just do what i want to do and think how i want to think and and i found that feminists are very feminists are like very into purity politics and very into like the policing of what other women and other feminists are doing and they're very into cancel culture even the turfy gender critical ones so they just have the they don't like the gender identity ideology stuff and they don't want to be canceled over that, but they'll cancel other people for all these other, you know, uh, you're a racist, like you align with these men who are, according to me, a misogynist. And, you know, that's an anti-feminist view or you're a capitalist, yada, yada, yada. And I don't, I don't like that. 